students don't have their phones, but I'm going to make sure if you did bring yours, uh, make sure you put it on silent, please, young people. Thank you. Um, my students don't make me out of tears to let you long ring. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome to uh, CGLA. Uh, we have a guest that I will take time to introduce here shortly, uh, but I also want to welcome uh, our neighbors from Orchard Nine Middle School. So, uh, and so for uh, both sets of students, we uh, kicked this morning off down at the Edney Building uh, with a uh, panelist group uh, talking about. Uh, the importance of having internet and access to technology at all times uh, for all people, basically. And so, uh, as some of you are aware, uh, we've been participating uh, in what we call internet essentials uh, for quite some time. And I have to say that uh, Mr. Fisher, Doug here, uh, I didn't get a chance to say that this morning, but he's had his boots on the ground uh, with us for quite some time. Uh, comes and speaks uh, at registration or wherever that we may have a group of students that he can spread the word about internet, internet essentials. And basically, uh, for $9.95 a month, any home uh, can have internet um, uh, if, if so desired. So I'm glad to be a part of the program. Thank you, uh, Comcast, for including us. Thank you for working with both of our schools uh, so diligently and, and putting this together uh, this morning uh, for us. Um, at this time, I would like to introduce the uh, VP of External Affairs with Comcast, uh, Mr. Andy Mackey. Thank you, Dr. Swafford, and we appreciate you opening uh, your doors to us today. Good morning, students. Good morning. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Yes. yes. Good. Well, I've, I've got news for you that today is going to be a day that you're going to remember for a long time. You're going to remember it as being a really good day. <laughs> Something special is going to be happening today, and I'm really excited to be a part of it. Um, but I want to start off with a, with a question. Does anybody here play sports? Anybody play sports? What sport do you play? Football. Football. All right. What about you? Basketball. Basketball. All right. Basketball. Basketball. Football. Okay. What position do you play? Safety. Safety. Okay. So you're fast. What about you, sir? Basketball. All right. A lot of basketball players here. Back in the back. Soccer. All right. All right. Well, so we got a lot of basketball players, a lot of football players, soccer players, and whatnot. So let me ask, how would um, how would you do in your sport if you had one arm tied behind your back? It's hard to do a crossover one-handed, right? Can anybody do a one-handed crossover? No. <laughs> throw a football with one hand, but could you block with one hand? No, not really. Hard to tackle with one hand. I've seen some people catch passes one-handed, for sure. But ultimately, that's not, that really wouldn't be fair. If you had to compete with somebody with two hands, and you're one-handed, right? So along the same lines, Comcast doesn't think it's fair to try to do your best in school without access to internet at home. Back when I was in school, we had one computer in the whole building, and we looked at, uh, we had to do a research paper, we looked at a whole volume of encyclopedias. Has anybody even seen an encyclopedia here in the room? I don't know, we got a couple of people who have seen them, but today you go to the internet, right? You do research on whatever, uh, whether it's on your phone or a computer, but, but we, we think that if you don't have internet, success, internet at home, it's hard to be successful. And I'm very proud to say that Comcast is, is doing something about it. And to talk a little bit more about what we're doing, it's my pleasure to introduce one of our dynamic leaders at Comcast. Her name is Tina Simmons, and her title is the Senior Vice President of Human Resources in Comcast Central Division. It's a very, very important job. 
She's responsible uh, for ensuring that the company hires the best workers, trains them for success in their job and, and future jobs, and most importantly to me, she makes sure we all get paid. <laughs> right? She's gotten lots of awards for her work, uh, including Most Powerful Woman Award from Cable Facts Magazine, my favorite. She was the Mover and Shaker Award from the American Women's Heritage Society. And I'm super proud to call her a colleague and a friend. So please give a warm welcome to Miss Tina Simpson. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Yes. yes. Good morning. Good morning. I am so happy to be here. I uh, told the group that we were with earlier, I got up at 4 to make sure I got here at 4 a.m. I shouldn't have gone to sleep last night, but to make it here in time so I can be with you. And I'm so pleased to be here with all of these bright, shiny faces. So, thank you for joining us here at the Chattanooga Girls Leadership Academy. And today what we're going to do is talk about how we remove something called the digital divide. And I promise you this, okay? After my remarks, that very something special thing that's going to happen is going to happen. So just stay with me for a little while. I promise I'll make this really quick, okay? I'm all hyped up on coffee. I'm going to be really fast, okay? <laughs> all right, good, good, good. So we're here today to continue the effort of finding methods to provide internet connectivity to those segments of our population in Chattanooga and beyond that have no access. It's like Mr. Andy <coughs> just mentioned. It's like playing a sport or playing, you know, ping pong or playing something. I'm not a sports player, so I don't even know what, to, what, what example to use without having full use of your resources, right? So we're happy to partner with organizations like Tech Town and CGLA who are committed to addressing this, uh, this issue, especially since it's something that has a profound effect on the success of our youth, on your success, those of you sitting in this room right now. So more specifically, CGLA has made tremendous progress in changing the trajectory of girls' lives and creating a successful model of educational innovation that's grounded in STEAM. Do you all know what STEAM is? You were there in the little Science, Fuchsia. Science, technology, and engineering, and mathematics. And that's absolutely, you, you got it. Science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. And it used to be just STEM. There wasn't the arts component, but I think everyone realized that's really pretty important to uh, well-rounded and balanced development for all of us. So, um, what we do is we want to provide a supportive environment that nurtures self-confidence. I think many of you have that. This young lady here surely has self-confidence. Inspires leadership and encourages critical thinking. So CGLA reinforces the fact that each girl, and it's funny, I, I changed the remarks because previously they said CGLA reinforces the belief that each girl is smart and can achieve. And I changed it to CGLA reinforces the fact, because it is indeed a fact, that each girl is smart and can achieve at a high academic level. CGLA students are proving that this model works every single day. CGLA has moved from being in the bottom 5% of schools in the state for academic progress for two consecutive years, making them a reward school in 2013 and 2014. The highest percentage of academic growth in Hamilton County for the 2012, 2013, and 2013, 2014 school years with growth as high as 60% in Algebra 1. It may sound like they're just numbers to you, but to go from the bottom 5% to that place, to that level of achievement, is a Herculean, really difficult effort. So, in addition to an increase in academic rigor, CGLA, with the help of the Comcast Foundation, launched the Empower Mentoring Program to address a critical need. Many students in Hamilton County, including CGLA girls, lack consistent, caring, and present adult role models to provide support and guidance in academics, college, and career development, life skills, and leadership development. 
I was lucky. I grew up in a neighborhood very much like the neighborhood where the school is, much like Chattanooga. I grew up in Philadelphia. And I was lucky that I had one aunt, my auntie, Julie, who had gone on to school. She went on to a two-year school. She was the first person in our family to go on to college. And I hadn't even considered college until my Aunt Julie, who was only 10 years older than me. And she was that adult, consistent person in my life who gave me the opportunity to see the possibility. Because without her, I would have no, no clue. And I wouldn't be here before you today, for sure. So this mentoring program connects CGLA students with caring adult advocates who provide encouragement and support, including <coughs> tutoring and help with homework attending transition meetings and student-led conferences, assisting in identifying resources and supply needs, building students' self-esteem, and becoming a trusted confidant. How many of you need a trusted confidant in your lives? You know what a confidant is? Someone that you can tell things to, they won't tell anyone else, you can talk to, think things. Do you each have those? In your right, right, like a mentor. Exposing students to new experiences, field trips, eating at a restaurant. <coughs> those are experiences that not all of us, as we grow up, are necessarily exposed to. Exposing students to potential career choices. We were in a session earlier where um, one of the, we were looking at a video, and one of the young men in the video talked about the fact that before, all he knew about was being a lawyer. But once he had access to the internet, he was able to see there's oh so much more out there. There are so many positions, there are just so many jobs, entrepreneurship, and there are just so many opportunities that we, again, wouldn't even know about if they're not, we're not given a, a peek in to see. And the internet can make that happen. Lastly, to ensure the ultimate level of academic success, CGLA provides each student, grades six through 12, with a Chromebook to use 24 hours a day and seven days each week while school is in session. These tablets are used for collaborative projects, homework assignments, flipped classrooms, senior projects, college applications, scholarship opportunities, internship <coughs> applications, scholarship letters, and more. Unfortunately, the tablets can't move on as students make their way to the college of their choice. So while this technology is pretty awesome, you may still rightfully ask, what does a CGLA student do if they don't have internet at home? After all, a Chromebook without an internet connection is a brick. CGLA not only provides mobile hotspots to students that identify as not having regular internet access at home, but they also partner with Comcast to create awareness of the Internet Essentials program among their families to ensure their students are able to reap the same benefits as their counterparts in the rest of the country and the county. Like Comcast, CGLA is committed to providing educational pathways for traditionally underserved populations, just as many schools do, we challenge students to achieve at the highest academic level, build on their various desires, and subsequently, their successes. So whether it's a school like CGLA that champions a STEAM-based model in which the curriculum integration model bolsters student engagement and achievement, or an organization such as TechTown that is a partnering, that's partnering with schools to ramp up interest within the various fields of technology, internet, connectivity, and digital literacy are paramount to the success of our young people, to your success, bless you. So with that, I'd like to invite Dr. Elaine Swafford, Executive Director of Chattanooga Girls Leadership Academy, back up to the podium to say a few words on behalf of CGLA and the students sitting here today. Again, uh, we're going to get uh, shortly uh, to why we're really here today, which is which is exciting news. Uh, but I have the opportunity uh, to to welcome a friend of uh, CGLA, a friend of Orchard Knob, uh, and a friend uh, to the community uh, with his work, uh, which. Uh, moves needles, I'll say, um, uh, in our community for students such as yourself. And so, um, Chris Ramsey, he is the CEO of uh, Tech Town. How many of you all know about Tech Town? Raise your hand. Everybody, that's good. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> Chris 
has done wonderful things in our community, and right now, uh, we, as I said, we just left the Edney building this morning where he runs uh, the programs there uh, for our students. So let me introduce to you the CEO of Tech Town, Mr. Chris Ramsey. <laughs> Because uh, let's go pee. pee. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and not, not go to the bathroom, but I'll teach that at the university, okay? That's, uh, the, that's the cheer for anybody who goes there. That's right, that's right. The fly is open, let's go pee. Yeah. <laughs> but Dr. Swafford and I, uh, first of all, I like to, I like to, I'm just glad to be back in my neighborhood. Uh, I was telling Tina, I actually attended Howland Park Elementary School, which is out back here. And I grew up on 1900 Duncan Avenue, which is right across, right down the road here. I attended the Boys Club, which is on that end of Duncan Avenue. And at the time, this campus was Howland Park Baptist Church, uh, the church that I attended because they sent buses out to the neighborhood to pick up the kids to go to church. So being from a single parent household, that was real influential for me. So now I get to come full circle. Uh, graduated from Orchanob Elementary and Orchanob Junior High School, so Yellow Jackets, what's up, what's up? Right That's all right. So it, it, it gives me pleasure to be able to come back and uh, currently Dr. Swafford, I serve on the Academic and STEM Committee here at CGLA. I know we'll be working with you all on our Bright Sparks program and your robotic team. Of course, we're working with the SOAR program currently at Orchanob Middle School. So you guys are part of our learning partnerships already with Tech Town. Some of you all have participated in our summer camps, our spring break camps. So we see over four or 500 students a month at Tech Town, and we're proud to be part of the community. And it just gives me a pleasure to be able to lead such an organization. At this time, I want to introduce our city councilman, a good friend of mine. I've worked alongside of him with the annual minority health fair for a number of years. He was just elected to serve as a city councilman, my good friend, Councilman Erskine Oldsby. Let's go TSU Tigers. <laughs> Beat Austin P. <Peay>, right? <laughs> All right, yeah, it, uh, it, is, it is a great honor to be here this morning. Like I said, Chris and I have worked on a, a number of community programming, and, and that's one of the reasons why I serve as city council is to give back to this community. And I also serve on the board of the Chattanooga Girls Leadership Academy, and I've done a number of work with some of the young men at Archie Nye Miller. So this is close to my heart. What I really want to talk to you just briefly about is having access to information. And have access to information that will empower you and inspire you to achieve your dreams. One of the things that's very important in public service and serving on the city council is having access to information. And that's what the internet does. It opens up <coughs> all the possibilities for all your dreams to come true. And as someone said this morning, it gives you a variety of experience. So what you may want to do now by having access to the internet may change that and it would change that for the better. So I encourage you as you get tools to have access to the internet and have the tools to get into the internet that you explore everything that you ever want to achieve. I often, no matter how small a piece of information or word I may need clarification on, I go straight to the internet to figure it out. So with that being said, use when you have when you have and get access to the internet, explore it, use it, no matter what comes to mind at that moment in time, go to the internet and look at it because having access to information is empowering. And it empowers you to be the best that you can be, that you will be able to achieve everything you want to do in life. But more importantly, it opens up access so you can serve and get back to your community. So please take advantage of that, value information, value the resource that you get, and the world will be yours. With that being said, I'll turn it back over to Tim. Thank you. So thank you, Dr. Swamper, Chris. Um, so today we've got a very exciting announcement. Each of you has been chosen to be here for a very special reason. 
you all have worked incredibly hard. You've challenged yourselves and you've exemplified the many qualities that lead to success. So your mentors are confident that each and every one of you will achieve great things. And to help you in that journey, Comcast is happy to present you all with a laptop computer.
Come on, we 